All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about the same side interior angles theorem. So what are same side interior angles? Well, in this setup, we have two lines cut by a transversal. Well, the same side interior angles would be pairs of angles that include angle three and angle five, angle four and angle six. So these two pairs are what we call pairs of same side interior angles. And the whole idea of the same side interior angles theorem says that if these two lines are parallel, then these two pairs of angles must be supplementary, right? If the lines are parallel, then the pairs of same side interior angles must be supplementary. Their measures must add to 180 degrees. And so our goal in this video is to prove that. And so we're going to start this proof by constructing our statements reasons table. For our first step, we're going to start by writing what we're given, which is that line L is parallel to line M. Now, for our second step, we're actually going to apply the alternate interior angle theorem. If you recall, if these two lines are parallel, then the pairs of alternate interior angles must be congruent. So angle three is congruent to angle six, angle four is congruent to angle five. And this is by the alternate interior angles theorem. So angle four is congruent to angle five, angle three is congruent to angle six, like that. For step three, what we're going to do is we are going to apply the definition of congruent angles. If you recall, congruent angles have equal measures. So the measure of angle three equals the measure of angle six, measure of angle four equals the measure of angle five. Now, another thing to notice about this figure is that angle three and angle four form a linear pair and angle five and angle six form a linear pair. Okay, so then why do these pairs of angles form a linear pair? Well, that comes from the definition of a linear pair. If you recall, a linear pair is a pair of angles that form a line. So what you can notice here is that angle 3 and angle 4 form line L, and angle 5 and angle 6 form line M. So that's why they're linear pairs. It comes from the definition of a linear pair. And if you recall the linear pair theorem, if two angles form a linear pair, then those angles are supplementary. So we know for a fact that angle three and angle four are supplementary, angle five and angle six are supplementary. And by the definition of supplementary angles, we know that the measure of angle three plus the measure of angle four equals 180 degrees and the measure of angle five plus the measure of angle six equals 180 degrees. Now, because measure of angle four equals measure of angle five, we can replace this measure of angle four with measure of angle five. And because measure of angle four equals measure of angle five, we can also replace this measure of angle five with measure of angle four. And if we do that, we will get this, and this just comes from substitution. More specifically, the substitution property of equality. And we have just enough room for the last step. And really, now we can use the definition of supplementary angles again to say that angle three is supplementary to angle five and angle four is supplementary to angle six. And so as you can see, we have proven exactly what we wanted to prove. So yeah, we have proven that both pairs of same side interior angles are supplementary. And so that's really the whole idea of the same side interior angles theorem. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.